Most people in life are quite familiar with discrimination. We've watched an entire generation move away from this sort of uh, communication, but the reality is that people don't understand racism is not true. We also have re reverse racism going on in the black community, and that is absolutely true. We have mega power stars, we have incredibly big football um, uh, players, and we have all sorts of things that are going on across America that show us what's happening to our pan families and to our friends. COVID has been placed on America like any pandemic of any generation and any epidemic that comes across uh, the nation because Jesus is no longer first for people. God is no longer the place that people put their prayers and everyone is facing what we might call a code of ethics problems, a professionalism problem, and a boundaries problem. You see, codependent people are always interested in following you. Codependent people have a husband, but they want to fuck on you too. Codependent people don't understand where their lines in America begin and end. And codependent people say, oh, we're just friends. Codependent people interact with police officers and screw people over, and then they realize that what that did was give those police officers every aspect of their technology, every aspect of their phone book, every aspect of their behavior. What we know is that corporate companies do not always abuse their employees, but they often use their employees until they can be replaced. When they learn that their local employee has acted in a discriminatory way, they sort of wait it out. They send in their own uh, internal shopping network people, meaning they put in their own employees to check people over to see what they're doing, and usually that's how people get spent. You see, a company doesn't want bad publicity today. People have the right to choose where they're going to invest their dollars anyway. But the reality in life is that you have failed yourself when you started to play a game with a man's face. And the bitches of America, the Wiccans, not of America, but the shitbags, feminist movement, asshole lesbians who hide in the shadows in places that are inappropriate for them do these sort of things. And little faggot boys who like to play with people and like to pretend that they're toys from the black community do these things. And all they've done is put themselves up in the position again of being slaves. When you start to play this game with your black husband or the white girl, you just fucked your life. Because people are not accustomed to seeing biculturalism and jungle fever is not true. It's that they don't expect to see abuse coming out of you. What they expect to see is a, a rising of a perfect class of citizen in a way. And I hate to say it like that, like in a Hitler way, but that's not what I mean. What I mean is that when we mix diversity, when we have multiplicity, and when we do things all over the community, what it means is that we're supposed to be a better race. And what it means is that we're supposed to have a better attitude about America. We're supposed to have a better attitude towards our jobs and, our, and the places that we do things. But in truth, all you did was debase everything about you.